Hello everybody. So welcome to our next lesson. Today I am going to talk about polynomial inequality. Okay. So a polynomial inequality can be written in the form a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus until a sub 0 tapos box 0 where the symbol inside the box can be greater than greater than or equal to less than or less than or equal to okay as you can see the left part of uh, the expression is a polynomial expression okay so polynomial inequalities can be solved using factoring okay so to illustrate this one we're going to answer two problems okay, for the first one let's try to solve x squared minus 8 is less than 2x okay the first step in solving any polynomial inequality is to write an equivalent expression having all non-zero terms on one side of the inequality sign okay so in this case we are going to write this we we, we will write all terms on the left side of the inequality okay so x squared uh, minus 2x minus 8 is less than zero okay lahat lahat ng terms ay mapupunta sa left part of the inequality and then ang matitira dito sa right side ay zero okay and then we will try to factor itong left part ito na yung polynomial natin we are going to factor this one so what are the factors of negative eight that when added together uh, magiging negative two okay so we have negative 4 and positive 2 so therefore yung factors natin dito is x minus 4 and x plus 2 okay less than 0 okay so factored na yung ating left part itong polynomial natin ang susunod na gagawin natin dito is to solve for our critical numbers okay critical numbers okay, itong critical numbers natin these are points okay, that divides our real number line into intervals okay so ang pagkuha ng critical numbers makukuha natin dito sa factors na na, na solve natin dito okay equate lang natin itong dalawang factors na na solve natin to zero so x minus 4 is equal to zero uh, we will come up with x is equal to positive 4 saka x plus 2 equals 0 uh, we are going to solve here x is equal to negative 2 okay itong x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 2 divides our real number line into 3 intervals tama okay so iplaplat natin itong points na to nandito si negative 2 nandito si positive 4 so na divide ngayon yung real number line natin into 3 intervals unang interval ito okay hanggang second interval ito and the third interval ito okay so our first interval is from negative infinity to positive or to negative 2 our second interval is from negative 2 to positive 4 and our third interval is from positive 4 to positive infinity so we are going to uh, write these intervals okay sulat natin yung mga interval in a table actually susulat natin siya sa table so the first interval is from negative infinity to negative 2 the second interval is from negative 2 to positive 4 and the last interval is from positive 4 to positive infinity. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin na susunod is to uh, look for a test value or test number na nandoon, ano, nandito, sa, nandito sa interval natin. For example, 
our first interval is from negative infinity to negative 2. So, kukuha tayo ng uh, test value natin dyan sa interval na yan. Kukuha tayo ng kahit anong number dito sa interval na to. Okay? So, I will try to uh, choose negative 5. Okay? Itong negative 5, nandito yan sa interval na yan. Okay, next one. From negative 2 to positive 4, kukuha ako ng number dyan. So, I will choose 0. Kahit anong number, okay lang. Ano? Basta nandyan sa loob ng interval na yan. And dito sa from positive 4 to positive infinity, kukunin ko positive 5. Okay? Susunod, uh, kukunin ko yung mga signs ngayon ng mga factors. Okay? Uh, ilan ba yung factors ko dito? Dalawa. X minus 4 and X plus 2. So, isusulat ko ngayon dito yung X minus 4. Tsaka yung isang column pa for X plus X plus 2. Ang importa importante lang dito yung mga signs. Okay? Titingnan ko. Ano yung sign ng X minus 4 when X is equal to the test value? So, when X is equal to negative 5, negative 5 minus 4. So, negative ngayon yung sign yan. Kapag X plus 2 naman, naman, negative 5 plus 2, it's still negative. Okay? So, that's negative. For the second interval, when X is equal to 0, 0 minus 4, negative pa rin. 0 plus 2, positive. Okay? Dito, sa huling interval natin, when X is equal to 5, 5 minus 4 is positive. 5 plus 2 is also positive. So, ngayon, ang tanong, ano ang sign ng x minus 4 times x plus 2. Okay? Anong gagawin natin? I-multiply natin. Kapag pinag-multiply natin yung negative times negative, ano ang magiging sagot? The answer is positive. Negative times positive is negative. Positive times positive is positive. Ngayon, saan dito yung solutions natin? Ano ba ang tinatanong? Ang tinatanong dito, kailan magiging less than 0 itong expression na ito. Okay, so we are looking for the interval where x minus 4 times x minus 2 is negative. Ibig sabihin, ito ngayon yung kailangan natin. Ito yung solution set natin. Okay? So, ang isa pang tanong dito, kasali ba si negative 2 at saka si negative 4? And masasagot natin yon by referring to the inequality symbol na nagamit Ah, kaya ang inequality symbol na nagamit dito ay less than. Wala siyang equal to. Ibig sabihin, hindi kasali yung negative 2 at positive 4. Therefore, the solution set of the given uh, polynomial inequality is negative 2, kama positive 4. Exclusive. Okay? So, yan yung sagot natin for this particular example. So, let us solve one more example on polynomial inequality. This time, we are given x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x is less than or equal to 0. Our first step in solving polynomial inequalities is to factor. Sulat muna natin lahat yung mga terms on one side of the inequality. But since our given ay nakasulat na lahat ng mga non-zero uh, terms dito sa left part niya. Ang susunod na gagawin na natin is to factor the polynomial expression. Okay, ang evident, obvious na factor ng uh, polynomial expression na to, lahat sila merong x. Okay, so we can factor out x. So magiging x tapos x squared minus 2x minus 3 okay, is less than or equal to 0. Okay, and then we can still factor x squared minus 2x minus 3. The factors are x minus 3 and x uh, plus 1. Okay, so there are three critical numbers in this case. I-equate natin lahat itong tatlong factors na to to 0. So, magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong critical numbers. So, our critical numbers are... Equate lang natin itong tatlong factors to zero. So, una, x is equal to zero. 
Pangalawa, x minus 3 equal 0, so x is equal to positive 3. Tsaka yung pangatlo, x plus 1 equal 0, so we have negative 1. Kung i-rearrange natin ito into uh, increasing order, meron tayong x is equal to negative 1, 0, tsaka 3. Okay, so itong tatlong critical numbers na ito divides our real number line into four intervals. At ano yung mga intervals natin? Okay, sulat natin dito uh, yung mga intervals natin una from negative infinity to negative 1. Pangalawa, from negative 1 to 0. Pangatlo, from 0 to positive 3. At saka pangapat is from positive 3 to positive infinity. Kagaya ng ginawa natin doon sa uh, example number 1, gagawa tayo ng table. Okay? So, una, isulat natin dito yung mga inter intervals. Okay? So, we have from negative infinity to negative 1, uh, from negative 1 to 0, and then from 0 to positive 3, and then the last interval is from positive 3 to infinity. Okay? Ngayon, kukunin natin yung signs ng mga, ah, kukuha muna tayo ng test value or test number. Okay, test value or test number. Okay. So, kukuha ako ngayon ng test value from negative infinity to negative 1, negative 2. Pinakamalak. From negative 1 to 0, pagitan na lang, so negative 1 half. 0 to 3, pwede 2. Okay. 3 to infinity, pwede 4. Okay. And then, kukunin ko ngayon yung mga signs ng mga factors. Tatlo lang yung factors. So, sine of x. And then, sine ng x minus 3. And then, sine ng x plus 1. And sa huli, this is the sine of x times x minus 3 times x plus 1. Okay. Unahin natin itong when x is equal to negative 2. Okay? So, syempre, negative 2 ito, so negative. Negative 2 minus 3 is still negative. Negative 2 plus 1 is also negative. So, therefore, if we multiply negative times negative times negative, the answer is negative. Okay? When x is equal to negative 1 half, so negative ito, negative 1 half minus 3 is also negative. Negative 1 half plus 1 is positive. So, when we multiply negative times negative times positive, the answer is positive. Okay, when x is equal to positive 2, so this is positive. Ne uh, this is negative. This is positive. So, when we multiply itong tatlo, the answer is negative. Okay, when x is equal to 4, this is positive. This is positive. This is positive. So, when we multiply, positive. So, okay, let us go back dito sa original na inequality natin. We are looking for the values when x times x minus 3 times x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So, ang solution set natin dito is uh, when x times x minus 3 times x plus 1 is negative. So, itong una at itong pangatlo. Pero ang isa pang tanong, kasali ba yung mga boundaries na nito? Okay, since we are looking for values na pwede siyang mag-equal to zero because of this inequality symbol na meron siyang equal sign, kasali yung mga boundaries. Okay, so therefore the solution set, the solution set is the union of the two sets. Okay, the solution sets are un, uh, negative infinity to negative 1, kasali si negative 1, tapos union... 0, 2, 3. Okay? So, yan na yung solution set natin dito sa tanong na to. Remember, kasali si negative 1, kasali si 0, kasali si 3. Kaya ginamit natin dito yung uh, bracket. Okay, si negative infinity, ang ginamit natin is parenthesis because we always use parenthesis when infinity, positive infinity or negative infinity is Involved. So, yan na ngayon yung sagot natin.